Hello everyone. I am back but again after a gap. The weather, log- logistics and of course um our very own named cyclone Mandus had paid us a visit and a sh- short and still sort of letting us know its loving presence. So all these had prevented it. The important thing is we are back on track. You are tuning in to the 99th episode of the Audible Weed Walk. This is Nina welcoming you. Before I delve into today's topic, I want to give you a heads up on what I'm going to talk to you about um the next podcast, the 100th episode. You know, that i do a few wild food fairness episodes where i highlight some critical issues that i would like us to collectively reflect on regarding our food nourishment sustainability social responsibility towards self and others well the next episode will be the sixth wild food fairness talk it will touch upon foodism the reason i would like to share with you um this topic is not to persuade you to agree or disagree with me but to initiate a reflection in all of us on the topic based on our experience and discernment that's next week so what do we ha- talk about today well about mandu of course we will catch up a bit upon uh, what's going on weather wise and weed wise around us We had a uh, visit from rather slow moving cyclone named Mandu name uh, meaning raft which uh, sailed across the bay along Sri Lanka along the length of the east coast and finally entered land a bit north of us here as a deep depression then in continued then it continued its journey as a depression low pressure but continued still all the way to the arabian sea bringing more rain to places on its way um more rain to places that are not used to receiving rain much from the northeastern monsoon reaching the arabian sea it it's causing pull effect rain um for us here now in the east coast a whole big loop of rain cycle the uh pluvio files um those who absolutely loves rain even the cyclones are elated uh, pradeep john better known as tamil nadu weatherman reports that never in the history of chennai city since 1813 um from when the rainfall data is available has it experienced three consecutive years of rainfall that is greater than 1000 mm during the northwest northeast monsoon More than 1000 mm was recorded in 2020, 2021 and currently it stands at 924 mm millimeters in Chennai city. Pretty close. And more rain coming, it can definitely cross and make make history. But why are we discussing weather? This is history making rainfall. This um this change is it sinking into us i'm not sure living off grid i realize that the number of cloudy days has changed but it is not uh, something one keeps a record of so for the off grid living the solar array designed for a certain amount of sunlight based on predictable seasons are now falling short it did not in the past we are now cyclone dependent almost to get enough rain isn't that something odd this um is even when science tells us that intense rain creates an effect like uh like hydroplane does like um you know hydroplane where the water cannot um uh, percolate so intense rain doesn't allow the water to easily percolate to the soil and recharge ground water instead it causes soil erosion flash floods etc knowing all these are we in climate action are our school kids being prepared to be the climate to be in climate action the children of today are not just change makers of the future but also 
the stewards who will have to deal with the brunt of climate change as adults. As adults today, are we preparing them for it? Well, I hope to. Not a perspective, uh, perspective do's and don'ts, but I plan to offer a workshop to enable people to connect to what is important and have the discernment to act, to address an immediate need or longer term sustainability. Stay tuned. I will, um, I will need your support and participation for sure. That was my weather wise update and announcement. Now, Let's come to the weedy part of the topic. Regarding weed or wild green wise or any green wise, I would like to remind you that it, with so much of continuous wetness and humidity, take a pause from eating leafy greens, especially raw. That does not mean you have any dearth of excellent food choices now, even if you mostly stick to the local ones. All kinds of goods are now available. The pumpkins are in their best now. Then there are much underappreciated, um, I feel, is the ash gourd or white pumpkin um, known as Vella Pishnikai. We call it Chal Kumro in Bengali. Apart from being great source of vitamin C, ash gourd is a good source of flavonoid and carotenes. Um, Two antioxidants believed to help um, to protect our bodies against cell damage and certain conditions like type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Then plenty of local and not so native but local beans are there. Uh, then there are a variety of tubers, sweet potatoes. They are rich in beta carotene, vitamin C, several other vitamins and potassium. Just roast them over fire. Skin them and sprinkle a little, little chaat masala and you have a delicious meal. Flat beans and okra or ladies fingers. New and wonderful fresh ones you can find now. Flat beans are rich in vitamin A, K, C, proteins and folate. They promote blood cell development, thus reducing the risk of anemia, boosting energy and keeping our brain, brain healthy as well. Okra, too, is a great source of vitamins, folate, magnesium, and antioxidants. They fight cancer, diabetes, and promote heart health. Get them young and just steam them with some salt and pepper and have them as a side. They are excellent. Wild weedy greens are flourishing are, and looking wonderful, nurtured by the rain. But don't be tempted. Don't pick them. Don't buy them or eat them just as yet. Don't worry, the growth spurt, spurt will continue even after the rain have reduced or stopped. You will have plenty to eat then. Instead, if you have any of your uh, schedules cancelled and the day is going slow and there is a misty rain outside that makes you rather sleepy, take this time to go out and observe the weedy plants. This is an excellent time to observe them. If you already know some, look at uh, where they are growing. You know, I found a patch of wood sorrel or oxalis, uh, which is, I think, called amrul or pulirai in Tamil, uh, growing close by, close to each other. But one has pronounced large leaves and the other just tiny. The teeny mini ones are healthy as well, but making the best use of the resources that they are getting, um, you know, available to them. That's the best size they can get too. But they are in the same place. What is the difference? There is a difference in the soil substrate they have. Observe the difference. Why? If you rather nurture some in your yard or even in your pot, you know what to offer for the plants to respond best. When it is not raining, go out with the coloring book if you have it. Take notes um, in your book and as you observe. Observe what insects are eating them now. Later, you can see which pollinators or insects are visiting them. And more importantly, this is the time to collect the seeds. The nice thing is, even when you see them uh, on the roadside, not growing in a hygienic condition, 
um, you can still collect seeds to have, um, you know, to have your own stash later in your pot, uh, balcony, yard, a farm, whatever. It is a golden opportunity. We tend to purchase seed, but when we collect them on our own, they become extra special. While Rosella, Celosia, Ivy Gold, Brazilian Joyweed, all these parts from the book, um, all these plants are in the book and all are edible and all are seeding right now. Also, a great time if you want to harvest one or two leaf-like stem of Opuntia or Nopales cactus and plant them. They will grow even in a pot or um, for you to harvest later. Uh, did you know that Sapatika Lee, uh, which, uh, which is what it is called in Tamil, or Phoni Monosha in Bengali, is an excellent food to eat for liver health? They are mostly growing next to the streets in a dusty condition. This is the time to get a few going in a safe environment for use later. Get prepared and nurture some plants. The season um, to eat wild weedy greens is just around the corner. I'll take this moment to also remind you that being a weeder, knowing and tuning in to the wild and naturally growing food plants around you is one baby step towards climate action. Weeds are an excellent indicator to, of climate change. Being um, in the know of what is growing around us also lets us be aware of the changes. Since the ones we are interested in for now are also edible, they offer much needed access to some food and nutrition security that is natural, organic, I call them ultra-organic, local and comparatively effortless to nature to nurture the world produces enough food to feed the entire population and more yet the number of hungry people is only increasing it is due to distribution that is guided by politics and business sourcing food that is effortless local and accessible is not just healthy but essential even when one gets an um and easily affords food nutritionally they um, um, nutritionally they may be uh, deficient due to the lack of some uh, micronu micronutrients weedy wild plants on the other hand are an excellent source of micronutrients just waiting to be recognized and picked with care so as not to deplete them that's a lot of reason to be a weeder i will restart the weed walk soon do join and um, you know stay in touch with uh, for the workshop when I offer them. Do get ready. I um, would suggest getting the book and exploring yourself. You can get the book at the Freeland Bookstore and Solitude Farm Cafe store in Oroville. Park Dundee Book Cafe in Pune is also keeping it. And of course, it is available online at praniverse.com. You can find the link in my bio or comment on in the YouTube when it gets posted. With that thought, I will end here. I cannot say I'll see you next week because the last few times when I said that I'll see you next week, I couldn't make it. So most likely I will see you next week. But uh, whenever I get the get to the 100th episode, it will be on foodism. I would love for you to join and start reflecting on them yourself. It will be on a wild food fairness part six, uh, though uh, we will not talk about wild food per se. So we will end, that, end at that. See you next time. Stay well and stay safe. This is Oroville Radio, voices from the city of Dome.